SCP-3166. What is up you guys, Realistic Gaming here, and today we're going to be looking into some SCPs. As we can see, we got SCP-3166 here, and the object class is a Euclid SCP. So as we can see, let's read a little more about this SCP before we get into depth with all this video. So it says, a special containment procedures. The Garfield franchise is to remain successfully to prevent it from manifesting. If it does not manifest, it is to be tracked down and brought into custody. Alright, so as you can see, this SCP is based off of Garfield. Yes, Garfield, the cat, the fat cat that likes lasagna, man. Alright, so now let's see the description. SCP-3166 is an entity resembling a guy in a Garfield costume that attacks everyone associated with the Garfield franchise and brand whenever the franchise is doing poorly. It is believed to have manifested after another anomalous Garfield comic was published. Alright, so this is pretty weird. So it seems like it's not actual Garfield, it's a guy or a person what? or this entity as, as it says, resembling a guy in a Garfield costume. Yo, that sounds pretty freaky, man. I don't know about that one. Alright, so let's see what it says. Additional context. This SCP was based on a quote by Jim Davis, the creator of Garfield about how powerful imagination is. Alright, so as for this video where it's going to lead off to, I did find a Garfield horror game. As freaky as it sounds because who in the world would have thought Garfield would ever been scary, right? So we're in for another episode of Ruined Childhoods for today <laughs> to get our day started. So let's jump straight into this. I was so hungry. EXE. Alright, so that was the title of the game, obviously. And we're in a house that appears like the walls are made up of Garfield's fur? Dude, this is so freaking weird. <laughs> All right, and there's scary ambience in the background. I'm digging that. All right, so uh, let's shut this off, man. I just woke up a couple hours ago, like two hours ago, and you think I want to hear another alarm blasting at me? Ooh. Come on, bro. Okay, a flashlight. Let's take this. E for flashlight. Oh, okay, dude, there's like f hairs floating around. Ew, that is nasty. We're gonna be breathing in those hairs and we're gonna have a hairball. Ew. <laughs> Alright, so I'm hearing like a heavy breathing. That might be Garfield, man. Might have been eating too much lasagna. Okay, let's go out here. Oh, there's a door open down the hallway. Alright, and there's a creepy tunnel down here. Hello, anybody here? Oh. That must have been Garfield. His stomach must be very upset. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, why? Why does the doorknob sound like that? Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. Let's go over here. Okay, so this door won't open because it's stuck with all the hair. The hair won't let it open. Okay, there's a painting of hair. Wow, that is a marvelous masterpiece. Wow. All right, what's going on in this restroom? Dude, there's floating cat hair everywhere. That is, oh, what is that? Dude, there's lasagna in the restroom. Lasagna in the tub. Lasagna in the tub. Hey, lasagna in the tub. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Can we flush it down? Oh, okay, at least the toilet works. That is a plus. Dude, ew, even the toilet paper is made out of cat fur. What is wrong with this place, man? All right, um, does this Oh my god, that is the most demonic sink I've ever heard in my life. Hear that once again. Yeah, pretty evil, right? Okay, so I think we're supposed to go down this, this tunnel or stairway, whatever this is, man. This hairy tunnel. <laughs> This is so weird, yo. Okay, so I think we might have to be feeding Garfield lasagna. Since Garfield does love lasagna. That is his kink, man. He loves lasagna, man. He digs it. Okay, oh, there's three lasagnas. Okay, so they popped out. We ha Maybe we're supposed to feed him three lasagnas before he eats us. Dude, this door won't open. Okay, um, there's a radio. Well, let's play us press this. It's just static. Dude, I'm still hearing like some heavy breathing, yo. It's kind of freaking me out. Oh. I hear something, but I can't tell what it says. Okay, let's go over here and... Oh my god, what in the world is that? 
Dude, that's Garfield sticking out of the wall. Oh my god. He looks so freaky. I think we're supposed to feed him the lasagna. I do not want to go up to this thing. What if he eats me, yo? <laughs> oh my god. He looks like he is a beast. Oh, I take the lasagna. And he just ate it. Okay, uh, his eyes follow us around. Okay, this is 100% creepy. Okay, so one of them turned gray. So that means we're supposed to feed him lasagna then. Okay, so we're off to a good start. Static TV must not pay this bill. Come on, Garfield. You gotta be on top of your responsibilities, brother. I don't know if you can be satisfied, can we? It's saying something, but I, I can't make of it. Okay, you know what? Let's go feed Garfield before. He jumps out of the wall and he eats us. Yo, this is so freaky, man. I don't, I'm very uncomfortable doing this. Just to let you guys know, I feel uncomfortable feeding this fat cat on the wall. Okay, so there's a wall here. Maybe this one will open. No. Okay, great. It did not open. Okay, so we need to find one more lasagna to feed this fat cat on the wall. Because he is so lazy. He turned into the wall himself. Oh, okay, so what if his body is the whole house? And we're inside of his body right now. <laughs> okay, the last lasagna is right here. Okay, I'm a little scared to feed him this. Like, what happens after this? Like, is he going to betray us and eat us? You know what? Here goes nothing. Take this. Okay. He's not... No! I'm so hungry! <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so did he eat us at the end? I think he did. Special thanks to the creators of the of the reference comic. Oh, okay, so this does have to do with the um with the creepypasta with the SCP correlation with what we just read on that website in the beginning of the video. So that's pretty cool. They made a game based off of that. And we just played okay, a quick game. Maybe we missed something. Oh, oh, it takes us to his Twitter page. Shout out to Lumpy Touch. I think he's the creator of the game. Shout out to that guy in his freaky game. <laughs> Quick game. All right. Um. Oh my God. I did not mean to click this. Stop. Stop clicking the Twitter. Okay, I'm bro. Come on. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go back and see if we missed anything because this game is just freaky. All right. So here we are back in the house. I want to see if there's any like secrets to this. He's saying, I'm sorry, John. Okay, so now let's try to figure out what they're playing on the radio. We have to listen closely. Come on. Say something. It's like a little song. It said like, come on in and I couldn't pick up the rest, man. <laughs> it's so low. Hey, 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 we got some funk going on here. All right, I'm digging that. Oh. Hey. <laughs> so, so, I don't know what, if these songs have to do anything in correlation with all of this. Or it's just random. If you guys know anything, let me know in the comments below, guys. You have to stop eating. You have to stop eating. Oh my god, so these might have these might be actual recordings from like episodes or something. But what if it was a recording before he ate John? Oh my god, okay, all this is making sense now. Okay, uh, so we kinda got some sense of what was going on through the radio. Now let's go to the TV. Because it was playing something on here. So let's listen closely with our ears. Not our eyes. I don't know if you can be satisfied, General. Something satisfying? Okay, there has to be more because the knew this would happen. She's just getting larger and larger. Okay, so John predicted all of this before Garfield actually ate him. More food. More food. You heard Garfield? You know, one of these days, eating like that is going to give you a nightmare. Wait and see. <laughs> and he Let did turn know. into the nightmare himself. Yeah. Oh my god, I thought that was Captain to base. Yo, this is so freaky, man. This might have to be oh, the most... Will it take to satisfy him? I don't know if he can be satisfied, General. 
Okay, so it seems like Garfield was never satisfied and he kept wanting more and more and more till he turned into this freaky thing. He's just getting larger and larger. Alright, so I think it's repeated now. Oh my god. So this might have to be one of the freakiest, most disturbing SCPs that I have came across yet. Which I know there's like a whole other list that keeps going on that there might be freakier ones. But this is on there, on that list, man. This is just so weird. This is like, who came up with this? Oh my gosh. He's so ugly and hairy. Okay, let's feed him one more time. Just so we can get over with this. So I can get over this freakily, freakishly SCP. Man, he's gonna haunt me in my nightmares. Okay, we feed him that one. Like, I wish there was more, like, like why'd he had all those doors? Or what if we go back? What if something pops up? I don't think that anything would pop up. No, it might just be a waste of time. Whatever, let's just feed him the last lasagna. Get this over with, like there's a pot on there. Okay, here goes nothing, man. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. You fat cat, you can't have enough of this. Let's go straight in front of his face. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That's all I got to say about this. Wow. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Well, this was... I was so hungry. Actually, rest in peace to John. Obviously, we know what happened in the end. He ate us. What a terrible cat, man. Now I, I'm, now I have second thoughts about cats because of Garfield. If you guys know anything more else, like any more detailed stuff about this, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want me to check out any other SCPs that are freaky. As this one, let me know in the comments as well. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!